I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. Do you want a hot chocolate? Okay. Oh, we're boiling, baby. Shows up. Beautiful. Is that enough for two? Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, that is sublime. I'm going to be using this a lot. Oh, lovely stuff, chef. Oh, I can duck that water's hot. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Louise. That is sick. It's a condensation hoover vacuum. Yeah, cartridge. Two onions, one pepper. Yeah, one and a half peppers. Can you grab the oil out? It's in that second one. Like a rim boy. I'll cut these onions up, boy. What's that, chef? Order up! <laughs> is, is this a pepper and half? Yeah. The only thing is, you've got this. I don't really like this smoky barbecue one. Freezing cold. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, that first bite. Whoa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I think this will do for tonight's stealth camping. <laughs> Freezing cold! There are some absolute plums doing donuts in the car park. Let me see if I can show you. Anyway guys, welcome back to another video. Earlier, as you saw, I cooked and had some delicious fajitas with a friend of mine. We went for a walk and then we were starving hungry, so I ended up having a nice early dinner, used my outside cooking platform, which a lot of you guys probably haven't seen because to be honest, I haven't used it a lot because the weather just hasn't been nice for it. I have a few upgrades and things to show you guys, which I know some of you will definitely be interested in. I now have a carbon monoxide alarm, believe it or not, right here in the corner. So now, from now on, I won't kill myself or poison myself. Christ almighty. So tonight's stealth camp is actually in a place which I'm very familiar with. I haven't actually... Tonight's stealth camp sounds like I'm at a bloody drag race. Anyway, as I was saying, I am in a very familiar place. I actually used to live in this area with my parents a good few years ago now, and I used to work at a restaurant just around the corner, which is where I had my first ever job when I was about how old? 16, 17 years old. Nah, what's this plonker doing? I'm in the beautiful countryside of Box Hill, which is in the Surrey Hills in the south of the UK. Tonight, I'm actually gonna be sleeping in the National Trust car park, right at the top next to Box Hill Viewpoint. I would highly recommend this place, not only just to sleep in for the night, well, I haven't actually stayed here yet, so watch the rest of the video to see how I get on, but in terms of walking your dogs or just going for a walk and getting out into nature and the countryside, this is a great place to come. Tonight's setup, as it always is, always the same from now on. I may do a few upgrades, but I'm not uh, fully decided yet. As you saw, got the carbon monoxide alarm and you won't be able to see, or maybe you can see, I also now have some window deflectors on each of the four windows, which means I can crack the windows one to two inches, which will stop any rain coming in and will at least get some oxygen flowing inside of here so that it's a bit more well ventilated. I'll quickly show you what it looks like from the outside. I'm literally parked as far back into the forest as I can. There's a few other cars in this National Trust car park. I think there's probably people just having sex in cars. So tonight's stealth camp is here and then we have the forest of Box Hill just here. And as I said, I think you are actually meant to pay for parking. I'm in the Box Hill main car park for anybody interested. I will of course show you guys exactly where I'm camping in the morning when it brightens up. There's no doubt that tonight is going to get cold. And I'm talking cold, cold for somebody that doesn't have a heating system in this car. Right now it doesn't feel too bad because it's about half 10, but obviously as we get later into the night and into the early mornings, the temperature really does start to drop. Apparently right now it's three degrees, but as of three, four, five, six in the morning, even to seven in the morning, it's going to drop down to minus one. So that will definitely be the coldest night that I've spent in the car so far. So I'm interested to see how I get on again with just my sleeping bag. And I'll talk to you in a second about what other heating plans and heating devices that I have in mind to try and make things a little bit warmer in here. Time to lock this front door because I don't want anyone thinking that I'm here for a good time when all I really want to do is just go to sleep. The only door that isn't locked is the boot. 
because I can't lock it. What I will do before I go to sleep is crack the windows open just to get a bit of airflow and ventilation going on. And now with my window deflectors, no rain is gonna cause me an issue. I always push this front chair forward slightly just because then it gives me a little bit more extra space to sleep. Ooh, lovely stuff. Tonight's setup, I have to say, feels very, very comfortable. I don't know why, it just feels different. Maybe it's because I know the area and I feel pretty safe here, even though there are a few hooligans about in their cars. I think heating wise, as the temperature does start to drop and it really does, especially in the mornings, it's kind of painful to wake up and get out of bed. I've actually decided against the diesel heater. Now my reasoning for that is because there's not a huge amount of space in the car in terms of you know trying to move around and stuff it's okay here and there you know when i want to cook and stuff like that but i just don't want to add a diesel heater which will take up floor space which will then limit the amount of room that i have to move around so the diesel heater for me is not really an option for the moment the other idea i had was getting a mr buddy heater which is basically just a big portable gas heater which runs from propane i believe and now i have the carbon monoxide alarm and my window deflectors so the windows can be open, you know, that would have been a good viable option. However, I've looked at the cost of them up and they're like 200 pounds or something crazy like that. And I don't fancy spending that much without knowing how good it is. However, a subscriber of the channel messaged me on Instagram and recommended to me something that I could get to try out. Okay, so the heater that I'm looking into ordering is called a Camper Dometic Hottie Heater. I believe I don't have phone signal right now, so I can't uh, show you exactly what it's called, but I think I'm gonna order one. It costs around 25 pounds, and then I'll try it out and let you know how I get on, because that'll be a good way just to get some heat in here in the mornings and in the evenings when it really does start to drop. I did get this book for Christmas. It is called Beyond the Possible, and I believe it is about a Nepalese guy who climbs 14 peaks this book i've been highly recommended it to me not only because i absolutely love nepal but also i love doing adventurous trekking and uh reading books like this i'm not a huge reader but tonight i think i'll start the book just to get it going if anybody wants to see what i used to look like as a child well here you go <laughs> an absolute rotten bastard i was look at the state of me look at the state of me and that was in India. I really love actually having these pictures on the sides of the two back windows because it's just great memories of all of the times I've spent traveling, spent with friends and just exploring the world and hopefully plenty more adventures to come in the future and for sure plenty more to share with you guys. Tomorrow morning when it gets a bit cold, which I know it will for sure as we're looking at about minus one, I've decided to put my gas portable stove just sitting on the boxes which it goes in because I'm going to spark it up and get a bit of nice warm air to come through and if it drops in temperature even tonight just before I go to bed then for sure I'll turn it on just to heat it up and take the chill out the air and don't worry windows are slightly open carbon monoxide alarm is working so hopefully fingers crossed I should wake up in the morning I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. There are people about a hundred meters away, blazing music out, at least some good songs anyway, and some people screaming. Wish me luck everybody. Morning guys, 
you probably wouldn't believe that it is actually 7.30 and it's pitch black outside. Decided to get the, uh, the gas stove warmed up just to take the chill out the air and get a bit warmer because it's freezing. Right now it's one degree and it certainly felt like that in the middle of the night but it wasn't actually too bad because I sort of cocoon myself underneath the sleeping bag but I just can't believe how dark it is at 7.30 that's the problem with the English winter now is the fact that you lose so much light in the day it gets dark around 3.30 with the sun setting and now the sun won't rise till around half eight, nine o'clock but I will slowly get up after the cars got a bit warmer I think the gas is actually struggling because it's that cold the gas canister isn't warm so it's not pumping out as much heat as it, as it usually does let's have a look what the outside world looks like nobody in the car park the sun is just starting to come up which I'll show you in a second I'll get the drone up and I'll show you exactly where I stayed this was the spot last night you can hear the birds actually a really good night's sleep you know considering for the first half an hour 45 minutes there was all those kids blazing out music and doing donuts. It wasn't good to get to sleep, but once I did sleep, it wasn't too bad. Oh, cold as hell. Right, I'll get the drone up and I'll show you where I'm staying. Hopefully the drone will be okay in this light. My hands are numb. <sighs> Successful drone flight, and now it's really started to brighten up actually. And there's a bit of pink haze in the sky and blue skies. Looks beautiful. As you can see now, the car park is still dead. That was last night's stealth camp, right next to the forest of Box Hill. I would highly recommend this place. And to be honest, this was probably one of the best night sleeps that I've had. Once all of the people left and the noise kind of died down, really nice flat surface, completely quiet after a certain time. I couldn't hear the main road, which was great. Did get a bit cold, but it wasn't too bad, especially this morning when I put my heater on. So guys, I accidentally switched my camera over to slow motion mode, which means that I lost all of the sound on the remaining clips. But I ended up leaving the car park relatively early because it gets really busy after nine o'clock. So I wanted to head on out of there. I hope you guys enjoyed another stealth camping mission and enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for plenty more videos like this in the future. I want to say a massive thank you to the channel members, Ian, Connor, Andrew, Clive, Ashok and Saab. So if any of you guys would like to help support the channel, then please do consider becoming a member as it really does help the channel out and help me out by enabling me to create more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next video.